about why it's about why not hello all i am rudra lakshmi of class 7a today is 28 february national science day the basic objective observation of national science day is to spread the message of importance of science and its application among the people this is essential to accelerate the pace of development even in the 21st century and despite many significant achievements certain sections of our society are still guided by blind faith and beliefs which is reflected in the decision making on developmental issues let's know more about science day national science day is celebrated in india on 28 february each year to mark the discovery of raman effect by indian physicist Sir C V Raman on 28 February 1928 for his discovery Sir C V Raman was awarded the Nobel prize in physics in 1930 each year it's celebrated with the theme theme for this 2022 is integrated approach in science and technology for a sustainable future This pandemic of 2019 to 2022 reminded us once again about the power of science, technology and innovation. And India is a hub of brilliant innovative minds. Binish Desai was just 11 years old when he came up with the idea of making bricks from waste. At 23, he developed P-block bricks out of the waste produced by paper mills. Binis has also found a way to recycle the large amount of biomedical waste generated due to COVID-19. He has developed a technology to convert used PPE kits and masks into bricks. Such innovations provide sustainable solution to grassroots problems. We have such innovative minds at Sri Gogulam Public School Calicut. They are trying to explore science with small experiments. Let's watch them. Hello everybody. My name is Vedika Anand Kamath of class 1B studying at Sri Gogula Public School Calicut. Today I am going to show you a science experiment using my household stuffs. For this I am going to use tomato powder, washing powder, lemon juice, water and a paper first we will mix turmeric powder and water and make a paste like this and then apply the paste on the paper now let it get dry washing powder with water now i am going to apply the soap water on the turmeric paper wow can you see the magic the yellow color has turned to red color now i am going to apply lemon juice on this paper Can you see the magic? The red color has turned back to yellow color. So would you like to know the magic behind this? I will explain it to you. Turmeric is acidic and soap is basic. When they mix together, a reaction takes place. And that is the reason for color change. Now, lemon juice is acidic and it mixed with Mm, so and give back the yellow color hope you all enjoyed my experiment thank you for watching and have a nice day ahead hi everyone my name is angari jish i study in class 1 today i am going to do an experiment showing that air occupies space for this experiment need to a condition to water a clear glass of paper first take the paper and stir it then put it into the clear glass then add it into the container filled 
टमाटर of the food coloring wow look at the burst of colors that's just amazing so the secret is the fat in the milk here the soap is trying to hook on to the fat and you are seeing this twisting and turning and churning so what's happening here is milk is mainly made up of water and the main ingredient in the milk is fat So the dishwash liquid bonds with the fat in the milk. This bond is so strong that the water and the food coloring are pushed out. Hope you like this experiment. If you like, please do try this at your home. It is very interesting and fun. Thank you. Bye. Hello everyone. I am Shreya Shinjit of Second Day. I am going to show a science experiment to learn about density of water. First, take this empty glass and and fill some water that is already mixed by food coloring. Then, add some syrup.
Then I'm going to add some water to make the layer of it a bit thicker. Then finally, I'm going to add some oil and leave it to settle about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you can see that these liquids separate into three layers. This is because they have different densities and they don't mix. The syrup which has the highest density sits on the bottom and oil which has the lowest density rises to the top. Try dropping different objects in to see what happens. So if I put this metal in, which is very dense, it sits on the bottom. But if I put this grape and drop it in, it, it sits to the oil and sits on the water. This is because the water is denser than the grape. Pretty cool, huh? Then finally, if I put this sponge and drop it in, it sits on the oil. This is because the oil is denser than the sponge. This is all about my today's science experiment. Thank you and have a nice day. Hi everyone, I am Vishwana this class 2B. Today I am going to demonstrate buoyant force. The thing we need is a wooden block, a weapon, a weighing machine and a bowl of water. You see, the block weighs 9 grams. The pebble, it also weighs 9 grams. Now let's put the block into water. You see, it floats. Then what about the pebble? You see, the pebble sinks. That's because the block has a wide surface area. Wide surface area displaces more water. According to Archimedes' principle, Water being displaced it is equal to the buoyant force. So as the weight of displaced water increases, the buoyant force that is the upward force exerted by the water on the object increases, thus making the block float. However, you see that the pebble has a very small surface area, so it displaces less water. Thus the buoyant force is less so the table sinks now i think everyone has learned the concept of buoyant force thank you hi myself cash class second b today i am going to do a color changing experiment take plain water turmeric powder detergent and lemon juice take turmeric powder See this, the color changed into yellow. Take detergent. And mix. See this, the color changed into brown. Take lemon juice. This the color change again into yellow. See how this color change. Thank you. Good morning all. I am Buddha Day from class second A. As part of the science day, I would like to present an experiment in science. For this experiment, we need a pitcher of water and two oranges. One is peeled and the other one is unpeeled. We have to dump the oranges into the water. Which one do you think will sink or which one do you think will not sink? Let us find out. First, let's put the peeled one into the water. Did you see what happened? It is sank into the water. 
Now let's put the unpeeled one into the water. Wow! Did you see what happened? It is floating. Do you know why? Because there is air inside of the unpeeled one which makes the orange buoyant. This, this increase in buoyancy helps the orange to become less dense than the water. So it flows. Thank you. The little innovators of Sri Gogulam Public School, Calicut, are equipped to come up with solutions of any crisis in future. They are the future of our nation. Tributes to Sir C. V. Raman. Greetings to the entire science fraternity on National Science Day.